Hey, this is Sam from Sure. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk all about charger monitoring, or the ability of Wireless Workbench to give you a remote view of all your network chargers and batteries. So I know by reading the title of this video, you are literally braced for one of the most exciting topics of your life, but uh, sarcasm aside, I do think charger monitoring is a pretty fantastic capability. Sure has invested a ton in its rechargeable technology, and the ability to view hours and minutes of uh, transmitter during runtime for microphone systems is probably a benefit enough by itself to warrant your at least attention when it comes to rechargeable batteries. So rechargeable batteries are great, they give us a lot of capabilities, but you've got to charge them. That's a critical part of using rechargeable technology uh, in any sort of uh, industry, and the audio industry uh, is included in that. So in order to um, deliver an ultimate solution to the rechargeable ecosystem that Sure has created, we've added a lot of networked chargers to our lineup. Uh, so what I want to do today is talk about how Wireless Workbench can give you insight and visibility to the networked charging components in our ecosystem uh, through a variety of monitoring interfaces. So I want to start with this monitor view. Uh, the monitor view is a place where if you're familiar with using wireless microphones and IEM systems, Workbench gives you a ton of flexibility to show channel strips. So these are channel strips of some of my microphone systems. Um, and we've talked about in a lot of other videos your ability to customize this view and uh, basically create a perfect runtime view for yourself to see uh, channel status information. Now this is great uh, if you only use mics and transmitters, but what about our, uh, our chargers? Or what about a, a technician whose job it is to monitor all of the batteries that are charging in a, a corporate space or a hotel ballroom or some place where a lot of batteries are uh, in a charger that sits on the network and they need to make sure that all the batteries are looking good. Well, we've got a couple options to show the status of batteries charging and network chargers uh, that are recent additions to Workbench. I'm excited to show them to you. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create another monitor view tab and I'll name this one mics and I'll name this one chargers and that is not to give away uh, the first thing I want to show you which are these monitor widgets. So on this right hand side I've got all of my channels in this channel section you can see and the way I display those widgets is just by checking this checkbox but under the chargers section you see any network chargers that show up uh, to have a checkbox and when I check that checkbox you'll notice this monitoring widget for chargers gets displayed. So this happens to be an 8-bay charger. If I go to the inventory, you can see it's uh, SBC850. Um, but what this charger view shows me are all eight of the bays, and then for each one of the bays, what's plugged in there. Now, I've got a couple batteries that I've put into an air state just to show you what that looks like, but uh, this SBC850 is a charger that actually docks ULXD6 and 8 gooseneck and boundary transmitters, and you can see those transmitters are docked there. I get a little icon, and it shows me at the surface level the charge percentage, how full they are on their way to being charged. So this is a great way for me, especially if I've got multiples of these, to see at a surface I can get all my chargers lined up and see, hey, uh, we need a boundary or a gooseneck microphone in the conference room. Which one should I take? Ah, go to charger 103 and take uh, the one in bay 4. It's the most full. So this is a great way at the surface to see uh, the status of all of the things that you have charged. Now this SBC850 happens to take docked transmitters, so that's actually the transmitter with the battery inside it uh, that's charging the battery. But the same would uh, the same interface would be there for other network chargers that take exclusively batteries. Instead of transmitter models, you would just see battery models. Now this view has all of the same flexibilities that other monitor widgets have. I can uh, you know, change the arrange mode and rearrange this guy. I can make him smaller or larger based on my preference. I basically have full flexibility. And just as you would with a receiver or a transmitter, uh, like, a, like a microphone channel, to be able to get into more properties of this charger, simply double clicking on the charger uh, monitor widget opens the properties panel for the charger and you can see a full detailed view of all of the different components of the bays in this case for this charger are on display here. Now this properties panel for chargers goes into a lot more depth. You can see I have four tabs that show me the main uh, four attributes of each bay. Charge is the, uh, the first one, health of each battery is the second, 
Cycle is the third. Cycle count's actually great for those who have a ton of batteries and want to make sure that the same two batteries don't get used every single time. You can see how many cycles each of the batteries have gone through and, oh, battery, uh, the battery in bay four has been used by far the least. Let's use that one so we don't overtax these guys. And last but not least, temperature just to keep an eye on um, battery temperature to make sure things aren't overheating. Now you'll notice when I selected this thing, I selected this bay, all of this information gets displayed in the item property sidebar. And I can use these drawers to open up and actually configure, in this case with the SBC850, configure transmitter properties of the transmitter docked in this bay. Um, so I can go through and uh, set the channel name, set other properties like power level. This is a really great feature for users who have chargers that let transmitters be docked. So for non-shoulding systems like ULXD, this is uh, one of the best ways you can actually configure transmitters that are within the wireless workbench ecosystem thanks to these docking station chargers. Um, the last thing I'll mention is that this gear shows uh, a device settings, basically settings of the charger device itself, uptime, temperature, all this sort of thing. If I wanted to set network settings, I could, I could do that right here. Uh, but this is just a great way to get even more detail and even more value out of these uh, charging stations or docking stations as they uh, exist in your networked ecosystem of Sure Wireless products. Last but not least in the inventory, as I showed earlier, the charger shows up here. You can see uh, high level information about that charger. Um, if you are organizing your inventory by type, you'll see all the charger chargers would show up here. But uh, yeah, this is just a great overview of all of the different monitoring interfaces that Wireless Workbench provides for networked charging systems. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you've got any other questions or want to see different aspects of how to interact with chargers and Workbench, please be sure to leave a comment down below. Thanks.